Amazon's Kindle Fire is $199, and Barnes & Noble's latest Nook, the Nook tablet, is $249. Both have 7-inch screens and only use Wi-Fi for web surfing and don't have cameras. However, the experts at CNET say there are some differences. The Nook tablet offers more than twice the storage of the Kindle Fire. You're getting 16 gigabytes of storage if you really want to get a lot of videos and photos on there. And the Nook tablet responded better to touch. They actually put in a dual-core processor. Uh, we have the new VividView screen, which has great unparalleled video. You can get music on both, but CNET says it's easier on the Amazon Kindle Fire. They have their own MP3 store that's very popular. Uh, great selection of tracks. They also have a cloud service that lets you upload your entire music library. You can also download videos you buy at Amazon. With the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet, you can only stream rental videos with Netflix or Hulu. As far as customer service is concerned, with Amazon, you can call or go online, where Barnes & Noble Nook owners can stop into a store. We'll sit down with you. We'll get you to where you need to be. But ultimately, the choice will likely come down to one thing. You know you have to go with what they got for. Now, in the end, CNET gave the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet a slightly higher rating, but says both offer a lot for the price. If you'd like to learn more, we've set up a link to CNET. Visit cbsphilly.com, click on News, then Consumer. Reporting for three on your side, I'm Jim Donovan.